What photo settings you choose to use will of course depend on the camera that you have on your drone. I always like to shoot still images at the highest uh, resolution possible. If the camera is capable of shooting in RAW, this is also preferable than shooting in compressed JPEGs. You're going to have more quality that way. The latest GoPro cameras will shoot a 12 megapixel still image. And when I'm using a GoPro, I prefer to use the 12 megapixel DNG wide setting. So this gives you the most resolution to work with when editing your photos. The DNG file is a lossless raw image format, which means that you're getting the full image information from the camera sensor. It's very much like shooting in raw on a DSLR camera, if you're familiar with that. The cameras that are built into the latest DJI drones, they also shoot in JPEG or 12 megapixel DNG format. Again, I always choose the DNG over the JPEG as the files give you a little more to work with when editing in post. The DJI Inspire 1 drone can be upgraded with the X5 camera, which has the benefit of interchangeable lenses and a higher megapixel count, up to 16 megapixels. This camera also shoots stills in the RAW DNG format. The biggest advantage of this camera is that you can mount much higher quality lenses to it. The larger sensor size also allows for better low light performance. The X5 camera comes in standard and RAW versions. The RAW version is capable of shooting RAW video. This is a great feature for the professional filmmaker who wants more freedom to color grade their footage in post-production. As far as still photos goes, the X5 and the X5 RAW are of the same quality. We will talk about video settings in the next video.